Ghostbusters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over 50% return in one day not counting uh, everything else but I just want to thank you Tom's not perfect but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small you can take your small losses but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Ruth and you'll hit a home run I mean a big home run yeah and put the money in your pocket okay and I mean, brother I you're awesome man thank you now Tom O'Brien <laughs> Wow. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Always do your best, but don't overdo. You don't want to get burnt, baby. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it will take longer to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 113, NASDAQ off 45, SPs off 10.5. Gold, gold contract up $19.70, trading at 1988 an ounce. With silver up 36 cents, $23.99 an ounce. Light Street Crew down 20 cents, $71.66 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 12 ticks, trading 113.17. The 30 year off 26 at 127.03 in King Dollar. King Dollar, where'd you just go, King Dollar? There we, yeah, there we go. King Dollar down 388 ticks, trading 103.96. $1.96. The euro is at 108. The yen is at trading at a 138. And the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, I'm going to put up the spy here because, you know, the, the NDX and the NASDAQ broke out. The spy, um, it's. It's not a breakout yet, okay? Because when you get a breakout, you basically get away from the bar. And what we have here thus far is that the bar we're talking about is 4.1831. And when I just did the update, you know, we were a little bit higher, and we were at 4.1834. Now, you're not going to have the volume, because the volume on the weekly basis here, well, actually, on the daily basis, it's not going to be that bad because we're at 73 million right now. Well, it is. We're going into 103 million. Now, on the weekly basis, we take a look at it. And what you're going to see on the weekly basis is that we're dealing with 458 million and we're at 370. So you can see. We're shot uh, with that. That's 85 million shares, but I suspect we'll do another 20 mil million. But that's a lot of numbers. Now, the real kick is going to be, do you close under the 4.1837? That's the thing to keep your eye on. Because the way that a failure works is that first you have to hit the number, and I'm talking about hitting the number right to the penny, or getting over it to the penny, not underneath it. And then you either have higher volume, lower volume. A failure is that when you get over the number, you have lighter volume and you close under the number. A success is just getting over the number, period. That's how that works, okay? A real success that it would be a bull is that you're getting over the number and you have the volume. That's on your spy. On the NDX, you get a different deal happening altogether. And what it does happen is that, you know, the NDX leads the market. So you gotta pay attention to this, okay? So if we take a look at the NDX, this thing broke topside in a monster way. You know, 
We take a look at that swing, and what you're dealing with is that the number is 334.43, and that seemed like a big number about three weeks ago, even two weeks ago. Uh, once it, no, it was three weeks ago. That's when we had 304, okay? So in four weeks, you know, we went from 404 to 36. Now, what you have there, but what is also going on is that we have the volume. So you can see that 221, and we are at 234. So that says that the NASDAQ wants to get up into this number, which is the 371. Now, that's quite a move, man. And what does happen with the NASDAQ, though, the NASDAQ can move. We'll see where that shakes out. <laughs> it's a good one, man. Notes and bonds. Let's take a look at notes and bonds, because notes and bonds, they're doing a deep retracement here. You take a look at the note and bond market, and we're coming into monster volume, meaning the, the buys, you need actually more selling this, okay? But it's very unusual when the 10-year, when we came off the lows, folks, the 10-year did 3.7 million contracts and 4.3. I'm not sure whether I've ever seen a 4.3 on the 10-year. So it is, you know, bottom line, you still do the same exercise because you're coming into that now at 1.8. Now, the bottom of that bar happens to be 112.21. We've hit 113.11. And if, then if we take a look at it, okay, what have we done expansion contraction-wise? Well, we did just over a 50% retracement. So I suspect what's going to happen here is that we're going to probably do a 0.618 retracement. And a 0.618 can bring you almost to the end of that bar. Now, if that's what we're going to do, what you will see is that you'll see a contraction of volume in a monster. Well, if it wants to turn, you're going to see a contraction of volume in a huge way. That's how this shakes out. Gold. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract came off its highs. Put this up. It just grabbed back everything that it lost yesterday. Yeah, but see, not good. Okay. So gold contract, when you take a look at the gold contract, I suspect the gold contract's going down into here, which is the 1952 area. We hit 1974 today, but see how the low of yesterday was 1973. You see how we didn't go, it would, have, it would have been great if we actually went to the low today, tested and rejected, but we didn't. We went to 1974.90, so now you're going up on light volume. And, you know, we'll see whether this is going to try to do an ABC uh, down, okay? This, is, this could be a problem, you know, because you're right at ice, you already broke the consolidation, you're going up, you're going up with light volume, and if that ends up being an ABC down, that could be quite a big ABC down. So, and where does that bring us? Well, that brings us to the good US your dollar. We take a look at the dollar, and what you have inside this dollar here is that, you know, the dollar rejected 102,998 today. You know, it's been a one-way trip on the dollar, meaning right now you're still down 378 ticks, but you already rejected lower price, and this is the first week, you know, that the bottom line is that we got on top of the consolidation, which has been there for about five weeks, okay? You know, the next swing point there is the 103, 800. And I suspect, you know, if we just take a look at this and say, okay, that's, it's going to do a 0.382. Well, where I'm getting the 106, folks, is a, a 0.382 from the last high that was generated out there last September to the lows. A 0 0.382 is a dead cat bounce, but the bottom line is that that's what markets like to do. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 93. The Nasdaq's off 31. S&Ps are off 7. So we had a couple different, uh, you know, deals out here today, folks, okay? You had the Fed, Powell, and Bernanke, the old uh, Fed chairman, uh, speaking at 11 o'clock. And in that particular case, I suspect that was, you know, somewhat of a positive for the marketplace because of the fact that Powell came out and he's thinking that, okay, um, the next Fed meeting, which is uh, June 9th, maybe. Let me look at this again. I should know this by heart. June 14th. Uh, they're looking that they could pause, okay? That's, that's, that's his aspect. You know, there's plenty of others that say, no, we're not going to pause. But anyway, the, the, the chair saying pause, I could see that. And he specifically said, well, what he specifically said is that he thought because of the banking Fiasco that was going, he didn't use fiasco because of the banking, I don't know what the exact word he used, but the bottom line is he thought banks would tighten up or have tightened up and lending standards, which would slow down the inflation. Okay, you had that happening. But then what ended up happening is that, let's go ahead, let's put the S&P up so we can see this intraday, how this came down. And this is, this is typical of, of debt ceilings and Politicians and the whole ball of wax. Yeah, here it is right here. So at, what was that? Yeah, the same time. So look at how crazy this was, man. So Powell starts there, but right at 11.10. So the, that conference started at 11. At 11.10, what ended up happening is that the two representatives of McCarthy walked out of the debt meetings and said that, hey, man, you know, it, we're not getting any, anywhere. And then McCarthy was getting off a plane. Now, he didn't get off a plane till later, and that, that didn't affect much. But let me show you what here. So McCarthy, um, yeah, McCarthy said debt negotiations hit an impasse Friday as the House Speaker blamed the White House for resisting spending cuts uh, casting doubt on the efforts to avert uh, a default. This always is not a lost day. That's the bottom line. You know, they're going to they're gonna negotiate the heck out of this thing, folks. So, McCarthy, McCarthy spoke shortly after his hand-picked negotiators abruptly walked out of the talks with the White House officials, a reversal from the Republican leaders' optimistic view that a deal can be reached as soon as this weekend. The setback, uh, you know, weighed on Wall Street chairs. This is, this is a replay, man, you know. 
it's, you know, nothing we know, nothing's ever the same, but guess what? Uh, Probability-wise, it, it gets pretty good being the same when you're dealing with politicians and timelines. And this is almost on every bill, by the way, okay? This happens to be the debt bill, so I suspect you're gonna go right up to the end. Now, the way the end goes is this. So there's a fluctuation of about seven or eight days, but that's it. Because you gotta remember something. We're all talking about this June 1st deal. Well, this started, folks, okay? Because I heard a, f a few folks thinking that, okay, that uh, Yellen can start moving things around. Well, things have been moved around since January. You know, this, this expansion of the debt should have been done in January. So since January, the Treasury has been moving monies around to make sure everyone's paid. So what's gonna happen, let me look at the calendar again here, I think, so everyone's talking about June 1st, but it's actually June 5th, I believe, that the ramifications will come out there because that's payday for the government. So that's a Monday, yeah, the banks open Monday morning, they must get paid Friday. Yeah, so June 1st is a Tuesday. And the 5th is where this gets real dicey. Now, if you remember the last time this happened, um, what did happen, yeah, that's how, that's how it worked last time too, man, that's crazy. Because what happened last time is that if they don't have a deal, the, the buildings start shutting down because what ends up happening is that the, I remember like the, um, the park services shut down the prior week because they felt that they couldn't, well, they didn't want to come in over the weekend because they weren't going to get paid the next payday. But, but anyway, that's when things would start shutting down. And right now we're one, yeah, see, we know what's happening here, right? We're two full weeks away from that, man. Yeah, and they're all, that's a, lo that's a long time. This is going to be a pretty wild two weeks. That, that's the bottom line. It's going to be a wild two weeks. Let's go take a look at uh, SVRA for one of the targets. This is a biotech. So the lows 180, the highs, no, the 108, the highs 280. So let's see what this does, okay. So this is a biotech that focuses on novel therapeutics, therapies for the treatment of serious and life-threatening rare respiratory diseases. Okay, so the R&D ships Drug treatments for genetic disease and cancer. The company is focused on developing late stage treatment for sickle cell disease. The drug aims to reduce tissue and organ damage by repairing microvascular function and being explored as a treatment for other inflammatory or circulatory disorders. Okay, so anything, just so you know, folks, anything that can bring down inflammatory inside of your systems is a lifesaver because that's how this thing shakes out, you know. Uh, Swelling is, is the killer. The company also has some candidates for development of tree cancer. The firm's name reflects mo focus on mass, molecule, adhesion, and sealant technology platform. Okay, so now this is a biotech, so it doesn't have any earnings, and it's gonna be all about what, how the tests do it. So what has happened here is that, yeah, they must have had some good news a couple days ago because you get a big expansion of volume. We take a look at this, put this on a weekly. You know, this is a wide price bar on a weekly, you know, so let's stay where you are, man. I mean, you know, when you get a wide price bar on a weekly, you know, they, don't, they normally don't come in ones. Now, the difference was that, you know, last time this did happen, it did come in a onesie, but you can see it stayed up there for four more weeks. Let me put this on a monthly for a second. Oh, I see, interesting. So what is that? That's 350. Okay, this one's going to be interesting. Okay, so I'm going to go through this for a second. This is what's happening here, right? You know, I've talked about this a few times before. When you have actually volume spikes and you can't take out a swing point, it's a problem, okay? And this equity hasn't shown that it can take out a swing point yet. So as you approach the two dollars and 85 cents you know you want that taken out if you get that taken out it's going to be a great deal because you can see looking at this chart you know the first time we got up to 540 gave it up came all the way back to a buck next time huge volume 
and you only got to 350. Gave it up and came back to a buck four. Next time, it had no volume and got up to two, and then came back to a buck 60. So you want to see this on the monthly and on the daily get over the 285. And if it doesn't get over the 285 by the end of the month, um, or when you think that they're, they're going to come out with an FDA decision, um, I'd get out of town. The, the ones that cannot take out a swing point after they've already been down substantially are problem stocks. That's what I've found, you know. And you can see this equity here, when I actually bring this equity back, at one time, unless this was a, this was, this is traded at 9,000, no, 90, no, oh my God, let me just look at this thing. Yeah, 94,000? Yeah, 94,000, is that 9,000? 9,414 to Wajala. Okay, here you go. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. To Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 122. Uh, NASDAQ down 45, S&P's down 11. Let's go to the GDX and take a look at a few of these gold stocks. We'll start with the GDX first. Yeah, same setup. See, this This could be set up an ABC down. Not cool. Okay, we must do the numbers. You can't get away from it. Let's see what we got here. This would be a big ABC down if that's the case. So that'd be saying, okay, let's see. We have 36.75. Okay, so you get five bucks. And if that's the number there, that's going to give us 28. That's all right. 
28 is going to, you know, 28 is going to do, which is amazing. It's going to come all the way back to close to the bottom. You know, the number that I've been looking for thus far is either the highs or the lows of this big bar. So the lows of this big bar is 29.36. You can see, you can see how big this volume is here. So we'll see how this shakes out, but this is important to understand if you're in these, in these markets, folks, okay? Because the bottom line is, is that gold itself loves doing ABC structures. The problem on a ABC down is that they love doing a 1 to 1.382 or 5.0. So you can see the contraction of volume. Yesterday we come down with a 31 million, today up with 14, and you don't hold price. It's not good. So that's telling me that the, well, let's go look at the XAU and HUI first, because that's telling me that next week we're going to see the dollar keep running higher. Yeah, same setup, man. This is not cool. Okay. So it, it's not that it's not cool, folks. Okay. I, I'm a gold bull in a big way, and, but I, I do trade it both ways. You have to, you have to, what happens in the gold market, you have to get out of the gold equities when you reach highs. Because if you don't, the bottom line is that you can give it up very quickly. Um, so if we take a look at the XAU here, what you're going to see, same setup, man. Same type of setup. Now, the top of that bar that we were looking at, the XAU, is the 125.24. Yesterday, we hit the 125.66. What happens is that we don't, I won't get the volume until 8 o'clock tonight, but we, I already know that the volume is going to be light. And so in this case, if that was a down, let's see, you're talking about 143. That's a 20, 18.8 a to B. That's going to get you, uh, let's say 20, yeah, I said 20 points. That's going to get you a 109. Yeah, and that, that's a 109 to the bottom. And then if we go to the gold bugs index, do the same deal. Yeah, it's the same deal. You know, the, the number we're looking at thus far is 244.59. Yesterday we hit 247. This would be 84, 37, and 37, 17, 217. Yeah, two, well, yeah, 217. See the big bar? Now, I'm going to spread this out because I want to see what this looks like spread out because here, I'm going to do this for a second because, whoops, close that one. What I'm doing here now, I just want to see, oh, I'm going to lose these. That's all right. What do I have? I have a daily up. Okay, so I'm going to spread the daily out further, out for a year. Interesting. Oh, that's going to be a big failure. One second. Now I'm going to put this on a four-year weekly. Well, the way this is set up, man, yeah, I don't like what this looks like. I can tell you that right now. And this is why. See, this is going to come into this big bar, man. This almost looks to me like we're going to go right back to the bottom of this range. And that's going to... You know, it, it's, it's all right. It's, 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 it's a building cause. That's, that's how it would be set up. And you can see what happened here. Now watch this. This is, we're really bisecting and dissecting this chart, but you're going to dig this, man. You see what stopped at its tracks? See this monthly bar here? So if we go back to May of last year. Is it last year or the year before? May? No, May of 2021. Okay? May of 2021. That bar had 156 million traded. We went into that bar with only 7, 20, 77 million, 85 million. We made a high with 86 million. Not enough buyers, man. That's what's going to happen here. So be careful. That's what's going to happen. That's heavy, man. Now, what happens the what you do on the other side, meaning when you're coming back down, as long as that comes back down, 
and you have a contraction, which you can see right now, we, we actually, the volume's not that bad. But it's definitely, I, I don't see it, I do see it being lighter than the big bar that's gonna be going into. So it'll be a buy again. And if that's what you get into, you know, I mean, we made a good amount of money from the bottom to this high up here. So that's telling me that uh, if we go over to the dollar for again, it's telling me this dollar wants to go higher, man. That what we're actually gonna see is that this dollar, let's put this on a three year first. Okay, so I get this on a three year weekly. Let's see, it didn't break down. So we, we've really been, you know, let's see, four. You came into strength going back from, oh, let's see, it's the same thing. Look, look at this, this is crazy. It's not crazy, it's the way it works though. Look, look what's going on, man. So we, we know this, that the dollar, the correlation between the dollar and gold is direct, right? And when you look at the dollar, you can see it right here because this is what's going on. I'm going back to the exact same bar in the, the dollar as I did with the gold contract, I mean the XA, the HUI, as to you know, what stopped it. And it's the same thing here. So you know, the first time that the, the dollar, I just saw this too, the first time that the dollar is going to get any flack is at this 106. And the 106 is the big drawdown that when the dollar went from 111 to the 106 area in November. We're going to be a lot of volatility, folks. And you know it's intriguing that, you know, most of the time when you come into the summer, there's not a lot of volatility. But that's not going to be the case, the case here. That's, this market is setting up for more volatility, you know. And, and I've seen it happen a few times. 1998, was it 98? Yeah, it was 98. You had the Asian contagion. That was, that was huge. That started on July 14th. And that went right up till uh, October. That was, like, insane. That's just start jumping around um, in a monster way. And I remember that very well. So that's something you want to keep your head wrapped around. Some of the uh, higher volume equities that we have out here today, let's take a look at them. You have uh, Tesla's up two and a half dollars. We got Amazon down two and a half. You got, uh, oh, Foot Locker. After, check this out, man. This is, you know, what's interesting is that when Foot Locker, um, they stopped doing the deal with Nike, you know, the, you thought it was going to get hit right away, and it didn't. And this this deal stopped like, oh man, like I think two years ago. And then all of a sudden, bang! I mean, look at this thing. That's just getting destroyed. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials uh, trading down 105, Nasdaq's off 35, S&P's off 7.5. Yeah, and unfortunately, uh, Jim Brown just passed away, folks. Uh, you know, if you got to see him run, he was amazing. And you know what's wild is that uh, I'm, I'm reading this, uh, you know, little story about him here, and it's like a, the unstoppable running back retired at the peak of his career to become an actor and a prominent civil rights advocate during the 1960s. He was 87. Uh, so check this out. So. Yeah, that makes sense, though. I was playing football when I was young. So his last, he was the most valuable player in 1965. I mean, in 1965, yeah. He shattered the record books um, from 57 to 65. And then uh, he was in 30 films, Any Given Sunday and uh, The Dirty Dozen. The Dirty Dozen was awesome. I, I, I should have known Any Given Sunday, too. I think I might have seen it, but I've seen The Dirty Dozen a few times, <laughs> at least. Uh, it says he died peacefully in his home in uh, Los Angeles. Yeah, and, and he was truly was, you know, when you, look, when you look at it, we have a lot of superstars right now, uh, but he was truly, I think, one of the first superstars. You know, it's really wild, so check this out. This is, this is what age does, though, right? Um, last night we were watching the hockey game, and uh, so we had a couple kids over the house, and they're about 20, right? And uh, we were talking about, I was talking about Bobby Orr, and they didn't even know Bobby Orr. And I, 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 as soon as I said it, I kind of realized that, you know what, they're not going to know Bobby Orr. So that's how it works, though, you know. And, and the game is so much different, you know, because if you, the game is so much faster. And, you know, if you love hockey, even if you don't love hockey and you love trading, when you watch hockey, right, and, and so picture this, hockey's on, every, uh, last night was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, okay, every night. Even if you don't like it, and you like trading, and you like Fibonacci, what you should do is watch it, because what you're going to see is this. The way hockey's played, well, the way, when we were kids playing hockey, the, this was like, you know, whether it's Esposito or... It was a longer game, okay? It was, uh, you know, the superstar, they wound up, they went up to the sides. Everything was much longer. Now hockey is a triangle. And when you watch it, particularly if you love triangles and angles, you are going to get your mind blown because they play in triangles. They have triangles and inside triangles, okay? And that's the whole game. And it's so fast, it's amazing. And what I didn't realize, I was listening to Tommy's show this morning, what I didn't realize is that when we were kids, the, um, the main deal, particularly in Boston, you know, we, we had really good hockey teams. Um, and when I played, I was a defenseman. Now picture this, right? I'm small, okay, that didn't make any sense. I could really skate and I had a great shot. But what happens, the, what I, the reason I was really a defenseman is that I could basically I boxed when I was a kid, so I could brawl, and you could hit. And what I didn't realize until Tommy said it this morning 
is that there's no more hitting in uh, the peewees, the bantams, and the midgets, okay? So I can see now why the sport is that much faster because now it's just about skill, period. It's not about intimidating someone. It's not banging someone out. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's, that was a lot of the game when we were growing up. So it, it, was, it was a different thing. You could only hit in bantams. Yeah, we could hit in peewees. We were the first team that ever beat Canada, ever. That was, and what happened is this. This is 1962, and the peewees no, won, the bantams lost, and the midgets lost. And I know we won. We won because we banged them around. They thought they were tough. Well, they had a thing coming towards them. But it was, it was a big deal because, the, you know, that was the first time that ever happened, period, okay? That's what, and that's when, I'm, I'm aging myself, but that's when the only American hockey player, I think, was Tommy Williams. Um, you know, because Canada players are, but anyway, the players now are amazing. And that some of the Tigers said, there's no doubt. And that's what I was saying to these uh, kids in my house last night, that like a college player now probably would have been a pro player, you know, when I was growing up. I mean, it's, they're that good. You know what I mean? There's, there's no doubt about that. And it's so enjoyable. I can't believe how fast it is. And I can't believe how the bend in the stick goes when they're, you know, basically shooting. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's just so. It, what I'm telling you, watch it. Quite. I fell asleep last night. It was I fell asleep uh, at the third period? Yeah, no, the third overtime. And I went to four overtimes, folks. Four overtimes. Okay, pretty amazing. So let's go take a look at good old Apple because Apple, you know, you know, and, and Tommy was talking about this this morning. If you. Uh, been using ChatGBT, it's in the App Store as of noon today. And, you know, the what happens is that if you've used ChatGBT on your computer, ChatGBT on your phone is actually easier. So I'd suggest you go put it on because it's, it's going to, you know, it's already revolutionized quite a bit. But once you get used to it, it's pretty amazing what you can do very quickly. And I'm not, and the cool thing is, is that when it's on your phone, you know, you can do it in two seconds, but you know, nothing else comes up. You ask it a question and you can, what you, what you can do, you can voice into the, now this on, yeah, I think it's on both. I think it's, I, I have an iPhone, so you can voice it on. It won't talk back to you yet, but you can say, hey man, you know, what, you know, what is like 8,235,000 times 45, whatever that is, okay, boom, comes right up in a second. Um, you know, so it's it's going to revolutionize quite a bit. We've been playing it with it, not playing with it, we've been working with it for quite a bit um, upstairs, you know. So back to Apple. So if we take a look at Apple, yeah, so let's just see this. Okay, so look at Apple here for a second. I want to show you just what can happen when, when you fail on price and volume. So Apple, going all the way back to 2021, reaches a high of that 183, right? Has volume there of 750 million. Three months later, it tested with 482 versus 770, right? Apple then goes from 182 down to 126. Now watch what's happening here. You're coming up to the levels and you're contracting every single time. Because a Apple, what Apple's gonna need here is at least 482 million and you know, you're 245 right now. So, you know, this happens a lot. Meaning that, you know, you, you, you're in a much larger consolidation and the much larger consolidation is years. And that's how this looks like. Yeah, look at this. Look at how it's setting up. That's exactly what's going on here. Now, that's, this is really good for the long term. There's no doubt about that. Because the, lo the longer the consolidation, you know, as long as it's not a mess down the bottom. And this is not a mess down the bottom. You can see the last time it came down there, it rejected lower price, had light of volume, all of the above. This is just a range. And this range has been going on since September of 2021. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 
129, NASDAQ off 38, S&P's off nine. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow's down 90, Nasdaq's off 26, S&P's off 4.5. Let's go back to Apple for a second. So the question is, isn't it an ABC up to 177? And what is it? You know, I have this on a weekly now. Let me put this on a daily for a second on Apple. See, it wouldn't be, I can see where the volume came in here, but because it had gone down so far there, that wouldn't, that would negate an ABC. And then if I put it on a weekly, it's just been a moonshot period. You know, it went over this level here with volume, but that, yeah, I, I don't see that. But I expect what you're going to see on Apple, I expect it to go up to these highs. I mean, it's going to test these highs. When you get this close, you know, to the high, most times you're going to, you're going to test it. Because what it just did, oh, this is cool. Look at this. Now, we just did this. What number is that? That's 176.15, 322 million. Okay, so this is what's going on with Apple. So check this out. So this swing point here, that is just in August of 2022, right? That had volume of uh, 322. We're taking that out with 246. But what you're going to see is your, well, this is interesting. <laughs> right now, this week, 
It's actually, you know, I was talking about failures. You know, that will be a subtle failure. But, you know, that being said, because of the bar of two weeks ago, that's telling me that you're almost going to go right up to the top. I suspect it's going to get really close up to that top. That You're going to see that test. But it doesn't have the juice behind it. And so what you do have is that because of the large consolidation that is in place there, uh, most times that's what, that's what it'll do. Let's go over to the oil market and take a look at oil because... Are you kidding me? Have we... That was the quickest show I think I ever did. Unreal. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Important week next week, folks. Look at him, folks.